Ukraine and its Western allies have traded accusations with Moscow at an emergency session of the UN Security Council. The Kiev government, alongside London and Washington, says the Kremlin is behind unrest in East Ukraine, which has seen armed pro-Russian activists seize government buildings in several towns. But by sending its special agents to Ukraine for diversions and sabotage, it is actually sponsoring terrorism. The statements and position of Russia, in fact, support terrorists in Ukraine who seized administrative buildings, took over military arsenals of secret <coughs> services of Ukrainian police in several cities, and opened fire on the Ukrainian police. The U.S. and Britain have been unequivocal in placing the blame squarely on Russia's shoulders for events now unfolding near Ukraine's border with Russia. We know who is behind this, indeed the only entity in the area capable of these coordinated professional military actions is Russia. Russia is seeking to impose its will on the people of Ukraine using misinformation, intimidation and aggression, tactics drawn from the darkest days of the last century. This is completely unacceptable. France's UN ambassador accused the Kremlin of ignoring the evidence of social media and other information sources, warning that Russia's tactics in East Ukraine mirror those it used before its annexation last month of the Crimean Peninsula. We have the impression that Russia, by denying the facts, is pretending that the Internet does not exist and that the Internet today is contradicting what it says. Let's not forget that these demonstrations were a prelude to the annexation of Crimea. The Security Council has held numerous emergency meetings on Ukraine but has been incapable of taking any concrete action because of Russia's sharp disagreements with the United States and Europe. The White House has threatened fresh sanctions against the Kremlin if it does not take steps to de-escalate the situation.